Quadratic sequences question 2. Find the general term for the sequence 6, 9, 14 and 21, given that the constant second difference is 2. We know that the general form for a quadratic sequence is Tn is equal to an n squared plus bn plus c. So, in order to work out the general term, we need values for a, b and c. We also know that the constant second difference is equal to 2a. So that will help us find a value for a, because we know that the constant second difference is the specific sequence that has been given as 2. So we can say the constant second difference 2a is equal to 2. Therefore, dividing both sides by 2, we will get that a is equal to 1. Now that we've got the value for a, we need to find the values for b and c. And the one way we can do this is by using simultaneous equations. So we go back into the general form for a quadratic sequence, and we can replace a with 1. So the general term becomes tn is equal to n squared plus bn plus c. And we need to work out b and c. We know that term 1 is given by a plus b plus c. And we get that by simply substituting 1 in place of n. And we also see that in this specific sequence, term 1 takes on a value of 6. Therefore, term 1 is also equal to 6. What we're doing is creating simultaneous equations. We know that a has a value of 1. So, we're going to get b plus c is equal to 6 minus 1, which is 5. Therefore, we can say that b will be equal to 5 minus c, and we can call that equation 1. Now that we've got equation 1, let's try and find equation 2. We see that term 2 has a value of 9, but it's also given by the expression 4a plus 2b plus c. So, in place of a, we know that we can replace a with a1. This equation is going to become 4 plus 2b plus c is equal to 9. So, 2b plus c is equal to 9 minus 4, which gives us 5. We can call that equation 2. Now, substitute equation 1 and 2 and solve for the unknown value of c. So, we'll get 2 times b and b, remember, had the value 5 minus c, plus c is equal to 5. Solving this linear equation, we get 10 minus 2c plus c is equal to 5. Minus 2c plus c is negative c, and that's equal to 5. Take your 10 over to the right-hand side. 5 minus 10 is negative 5, so therefore c has a value of 5. Now that we have the value for c, we can work out the value for b by substituting this value of c back into the equation 1. We substitute c is equal to 5 back into equation 1. Equation 1 was b is equal to 5 minus c, so therefore we get b is equal to 5 minus c. Replace the c with 5, and we get that b has a value of 0. We can now complete our general term for this quadratic sequence. a has a value of 1. So, the general term becomes n squared plus b has a value of 0. So, we've got no term in n. Plus c, which is 5. So, we get a quadratic formula with general term n squared plus 5.